my God, how has an empty your name in all the earth? How has an empty your name? How has an empty, how wonderful, how has an empty your name in all the earth? How has a land is your name? Oh Lord, oh Lord, our God, how has a land is your name in all the earth? How has a land is your name? Amen. I'm to worship God this morning because His name is Hazelan. Let's magnify him for there is none like unto him. He has kept all this fire with his love. How wonderful he is. How excellent your name, Father. Oh, blessed be your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How excellent be your name. Oh, we worship your name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to your name in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't worship you, we magnify you. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Honor to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to you forever in Jesus' mighty name. Please worship him. Glorify his holiness. Magnify him for great thing he's doing in our life. For wonderful thing he's doing in us. Our God is worthy to be praised. Blessed be his name forever. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please worship him, magnify him. Hallelujah to him alone in Jesus' mighty name. Our amen to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Please worship him, magnify him. For he that to has helped us from the very first day of this year to this very time, God has helped us. He has been our amen, and unto him as our amen be. Glorify him, brother, magnify him. Thank you for keeping us alive and preserving us. Oh, magnify him, please give me praise. Let's exalt him. We know he has kept all this far. He will not abandon us yet. He will yet keep us, yet preserve us, yet help us. Magnify his name, give him praise, give him glory. Exalt his holy name. Give him praise, give him glory. Magnify him and exalt him. Give him praise and honor. Give him praise and honor. Our God is good. It's worthy of our praise. It's worthy of our praise. Bless his name and magnify him. Bless his name and exalt him. Bless his name and give him glory. Our God is worthy of our praise. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. You are worthy of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. You have to glorify in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you for testimonies. Thank you for great things you are doing in our life. Thank you for preserving and keeping us. We are yet alive, healthy and healthy. We are in our homes, we are in our families. It can only be you, Daddy. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory, honor, adoration to you alone in Jesus' mighty name. Daddy, we are very grateful. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. Honor to you in Jesus' mighty name. Honor to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please worship him and magnify him. Exalt him. Give him praise. Thank him for your very life. Bless his name. Thank him. Bless his name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Lord, my God, please pass another song and sing it from your heart. How has the land is your name in all the earth? How has the land is your name? Ah God, oh Lord, oh Lord, ah God, my God, how oh, excellent is your name, hallelujah, in all the earth, how oh, excellent is your name. God have been good to us, brethren. Just few days more and the year will be gone. It can only be gone outside this far. It can only be in Berlin. 
it can only be when you see the news, you see fine people going away. Yet we are see here, it can only be God. It can only be God. With all the news we hear, with all the see we see, with all the happenings all around us, it can only be God. Please worship him. Please magnify him. It can only be him. It can only be him. Thank you, Father, because it can only be you. It can only be you, Daddy. It can only be you, Father. It can only be you, my God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. It can only be you, Father. It can be only be you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Be exalted and be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Please bless him. Please bless him. Please bless him. Please glorify his name. Exalt him because he's good. Oh, our God is faithful. Our God is good. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. You are worthy of our praise. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. That we thank you. That we thank you. Oh, worthy a thou, O God. Worthy a thou, God. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our hallelujah. You are worthy of our amen. You are worthy of our prayers. Worthy be your name, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We ascribe all glory to you, Father. Thank you because you are worthy. Thank us you are worthy in the mighty name of Jesus. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy to be magnified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We thank you for all our children. I God has been keeping them in all their homes. Oh, once in a while they may fall sick, but God has been helping them and healing them. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. Thank you for the great testimony of healing that God is doing in our life. Blessed be your name, Father. Thank you for the testimony we be having. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because our children, you are healing them, taking care of them, preserving them, and helping them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are very, very grateful. We are very, very grateful. We are very, very grateful. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. You say you are what we praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The other morning, as I woke up, I saw one of the messages from one of our mommy, how the health of the child has really improved. We are trusting God that the healing will be fast, will be quick, and be permanent. But thus far, the Lord has been good to, to him. We say, I thank for this healing. And for in as many of our children, thank for healing. In as many of our life as well, thank for healing. Thank for answer to prayers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank for answer to prayers, Daddy. We say, blessed be your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank for all the answers to our prayers. Thank you because you are healing every child that is that is that is uh, dying one form or the other. Thank for healing. Thank for healing. Thank for good health. Thank for that my particular baby, my baby boy. How you have been touching his head. We say blessed be your name. Thank you for the spirit. Thank you for the because you are doing wonderful things in his life. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah to you alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank us. We pray and you hear us. Glory to your name, Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you want to pray for as many that see trusting God for perfect healing, beginning with that young boy, we are trusting God to perfect his head and to make it permanently well. You know, and uh, God this morning as well, one of our mothers sent testimony to me of how he or she has been healed. And to pray that God, all the testimony shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. that as many that have been healed, the healing will be permanent. Those that are going through the process of healing, the healing will be very quick and fast and permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Covered in the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' mighty name. At the above, we are built on their behalf as to celebrate the end of the year. That in Jesus' mighty name, we all end well in strength, in strong and healthy in the mighty name of Jesus. Every head we call the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray for that child that your healing will be permanent, will be quick and fast. And permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. I call the brother of Jesus Christ in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray for my mommy too that your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Call the brother of Jesus Christ in Jesus' mighty name. 
no enemy, no enemy, no power of darkness we prevail in Jesus' mighty name. No power of darkness we prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. For darkness we prevail in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Now to pray quickly for families that are sick. You know, it is possible for a, a whole family to be sick. Not just uh, emotional sickness or bloody sickness now. Maybe the marriage itself is even sick. You say, Father, trust for your hand to such home in Jesus' Father, mighty name. Amen. Every sick family, sick home. Marriage that are sick. Emotional sickness. Mental sickness. Uh, is it marriage sickness or physical in terms of body sickness? Lord, we send forth your healing to the trust homes and to trust life. Let there be health in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be health in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be health in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be health, permanent health in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be health in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be health, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. In all our homes, in all our lives. Let there be healing and health in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be permanent health now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let there be health here now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I hope it is 621 or 50 on that before we go. If you don't allow us. Amen is my power. Amen is my song. We amen have victory in prayer. Amen is my soul. Let's open your eyes to Psalm 100. Psalm 100. Hallelujah. For the Lord God. Omnipotent, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent, reigned. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Psalm 100, we together now. Psalm 100, I believe you are there. We together, then we sacrifice our image to God this morning. Psalm 100. From verse one, we go together and want to go. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Sad the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and know we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his true endure to all generations. For we are, not, we are not made by ourselves, it is him that made us, and only in deserve our amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brother, there is power in, it, in what we are doing. Mm. There is strong power in it. In course of this week, something happened that I told me again. There is power in amen. When you say amen, you are just don't know what to say or what the direction of the prayer to go. And you continually say amen back to God. There is power in it. And that we program over and over again, there is power in it. Put your heart into this. And anytime you are just in a position, you don't know what to say, you don't know what to say, how to say it, or you are confused, just say amen and amen and amen and amen as many times you can say it. And you will see victory in Jesus' mighty name. I can say this is true, and I know this is true, that amen is very important. 
So we sacrifice our time today, amen to God now, all together as a family. Let's join up wherever it may be. Don't stop until the last, that's the third one. Now, one to go. Amen. 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 And so I just thank you for this morning once again. Thank because unto you shall all flesh come. Thank because unto you we brought our sacrifice this morning and we offer to your feet. We glorify in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we have sacrificed as you have commanded us. We pray in every area of our life, here we need your hand. Please stretch forth your hand now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Where there is need for healing, where there is need for touch, where there is need for salvation, where there is need for hope and love, where there is need for renewal and reassurance. Lord, send forth your hand now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let them see that the whole may know that indeed you are the one that answer prayers. Mm-hmm. Put your hand now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. As we progress now, progress with us. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Can you go ahead and worship once again for this morning? Oh, thank you. Magnifying once again for this morning. Thank you once again for this morning. Oh, magnifying brother once again for this morning. It's a beautiful thing to be in his presence. It's a wonderful thing to be in his presence. Our God is good, our God is kind. Blessed be his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are worthy to be praised forever. Thank you, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Quickly, before we go, we are going to do some prayer, prayer of safety, just for the remaining days of the year, that God will preserve us and keep us in our homes. Just yesterday, Broken the day for Saturday, stroke Saturday morning. I woke up in my house and I just realized it's a miracle to sleep on your own bed mm-hmm. and to wake up the following morning. Many will go out like that in the morning, but in the day they were in the, day, in the night they were expected to come back, but alas, they are not to be found. So my not then are not lost, but they are in the hand of the authority, swallowing in some in some cell somewhere. But that's not our lot. And for the rest of this year, God will keep us alive in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to put some prayer of safety before we go by God's grace. Mm-hmm. Open your way up to Psalm 91. Psalm 91. And if I, as a way of information, the Christmas thing we are doing for people that we do it every year, contributing our best you can have, or like Jesus said, our widow's mind mm-hmm. to others. And we began distributing the money yesterday. We So far, we had 140,000 naira. And we are already distributing the money for yesterday. We are giving each person ten thousand naira thus far, and we are trusting God to continue. In I think yesterday I was able to give about six or seven people, and you need to see the joy in their heart when people call back to say thank you, call back to appreciate you. You some some people were you I remember a particular man was almost crying, which was thanking me. I said it's not me, it's a group, and she was just almost crying. In myself, I was fed off with uh, with tea. You can see the joy in the heart of someone just because of 10,000 naira. I was sincerely impressed and uh, grateful to God that we had touched her life. And I think like that we were able to touch yesterday. A young woman, grandma, called me and said she was praying and praying and praying and praying. I was wondering if we had done more than 10,000 naira. Sincerely, it's a beautiful thing to touch people's life. Many of them never expected it, they never looked forward to it. And they were thinking, how do they survive this period of Christmas? And suddenly, a lot happened in their, in their phone, and they saw 10,000 naira from praying, praying, prayer group. It's a beautiful thing, and you can see the joy in their hearts. The amazing thing for me personally is the level of joy, level of uh, of, uh, of appreciation that goes into 10,000 naira. The way they are so happy, I was wondering, at the point I was thinking, did, is this 100,000 we send or 10,000? It, it shows how happy 
they were receiving those things. And I pray for you, in particular, when they are sent forth theirs and their help, they are to raise some people are sent as little as uh, 30,000. Some people send as, as high as uh, some as high as uh, uh, more than half the money we are even almost half the money we contributed. But everybody contributed in one form or the other. And sincerely from my heart, I say God bless you Amen. and God honor you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As I put smile in the face of these people and they rejoice in receiving those things as they feed their children and feed themselves in this season, as little as it may be, God will remember you and we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your sacrifice of love will not go in vain, Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And all your amen from beginning on this month to this time. Heaven himself will answer you and we are set of your offering, Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I say, oh, even though I love to, to give financially, but I didn't. Your prayer for them, God be praying for us, we are to that this time next year, they will be strong financially themselves to take care of themselves. So I can reach out to some other people. That's the prayer you pray for them. If you don't send money, please send prayer that as many of our members or people outside of that are will be happy that God will make their life beautiful by all standards in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That God will bless them and bless their home in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So thank you very much and thank you for your tithes. Thank you for your offering. Thank you for your gifts so far to me personally and to our family, my family and to the ministry. Sincerely from my heart, I bless you. And I say, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. All our grandmas, God bless you very, very much. And our grandpas too, God bless you very, very much. And all our, my sisters and brothers in the Lord that are in this page, married men and women, and as many of them that are also uh, young, also young, young uh, adults that are also sick. Daddy or brother, God bless you. In every way you have blessed us, God bless you in return in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This time next year of your life, we do more in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God honor you and God bless you. Amen. I'm praying for you sincerely. That's the truth. I do pray for every member of this group every day. And I trust the Lord to honor my prayer in your lives Amen. and to keep us all going in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So God bless you. I do pray for you. That's the truth. I'm not just praying for you as a collective group, which I do many times. I also pray for you by your name in many occasions as men that God bring their names to my heart. In particular, when God remind me a particular person, I do pray for you. God bless you mentally in Jesus' mighty name. Thanks for support us. I trust in God that next year will be a bigger year for us as a ministry in Jesus' mighty name. Psalm 91 now, prayer for safety as we gradually end the year and begin a new one. I've already told us that the new year for us is the year of the Holy Spirit. And that shall be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That's why you see me singing that song, because that's the song God gave us for next year. Hallelujah for the Lord God, oh, potent rain. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord God, oh, potent Praise, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Lord give us a promise that we reign our land next year. And also reign our individual life in Jesus' mighty name. And we reign through the agency of the Holy Spirit. That's the song he gave us for next year. The way he gave us amen is my power last year. That's how he's given us this one too for next year. He has given us already. That's how you see me singing the song over and over again trying to absorb the song to my own spirit. And I please do the same thing in your own. Even in our family, we sing it every day. So please sing that song with meaning, with understanding, and let it sing to your spirit, even before we begin a new year, by God's grace. And the last three days of this year, by 5 a.m., we meeting for our prayer, asking God to go ahead and reign in 2023 on our behalf. And that will be so in Jesus' mighty name. So put it in your mind. Next week, by God's grace, we'll be having the last three days, 5 a.m. And our big, uh, big, uh, big event for next month is second to, I think, four or five next uh, January. So put all this to your mind. So 91 and Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. May God keep you in a secret place in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please say better, amen.
I say may God keep you place, may God keep you, your household, and your loved one in a secret place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That dwell in the secret place. All the secret place, the place of prayer where you are now. This is a secret place. The place of studying. That we must encourage ourselves and our children to learn to pray. The little we can do. So it's not the it's not the length of the prayer time, but the availability and the consistency of it and the studying as well. So when you dwell in a secret place, it will, it will, it will keep you and, and make you to abide under a shadow. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely shall deliver me, deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and for the noisome pestilence. There will be many evil that goes this year as the is running to an end, but as a promise for us that the Lord say he will keep us. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you to yourself, my soul relax. You are kept in the mighty name of Jesus, my soul relax. You are kept under the shadow of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus, for it is written, "He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom we I trust." In the mighty name of Jesus, I will trust Him. In the mighty name of Jesus, He will keep me from the snare of the fowler. And for not some pestilence in Jesus' mighty name, he will keep me from the, from the snare of the kidnappers, for the snares of the wicked, for the snares of the wicked politicians, for the snares of the wicked men and women. Lord will keep me and my household in the mighty name of Jesus. My going out and my coming in are blessed and are kept in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord will keep me from not some pestilence in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. That thing is very reverent. There are many traps out there in form of accident, in form of uh, uh, chaos, kidnappers, and many trouble out there. There are snares out there. But he said, surely he will deliver me. He will keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say it again, surely I know. He will deliver and keep me from every snare or the fall line in the mighty name of Jesus. He will keep me in the mighty name of and my household in the mighty name of Jesus. It is written in vain is the net, it in vain is the net set in the, in the sight of every burning bed. In vain is the net set in the eyesight of any bed. He will keep me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. But Paul says, He shall cover thee with his feather. Under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be. Thy shield and buckler, his promises shall be your confidence, your shield and your buckler. He will keep thee, he will cover you with his feather in the mighty name of Jesus. He will cover you with his feather, cover me with his feather in the mighty name of Jesus. Every member of my household, we are covered the blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Every member of my household, we are covered the blood of Jesus Christ. Under his wing, I am kept in the mighty name of Jesus. Under his wing, he will keep me. In the mighty name of you, protect me, my wife, my children. Everything about me is protected and is preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are preserved in Jesus' mighty name and preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, which means there will be terror. But I say, we shall not be afraid not for the arrow that fly by day. Nobody in this ministry will be a victim of sin and unseen arrows in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Nobody will be a victim of sin and unseen bullets in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By the grace of God, God will keep you. He will preserve you. Keep your household. Amen. Keep your family Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please pray this prayer again, that Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a victim of bullets in Jesus' mighty name. Either physical bullet or, or unseen bullet. Either stray bullet or re bullet, I will never be a victim of bullet in the mighty name of Jesus. As the year I go to the end, I will not be a victim of bullet in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a victim of accident in Jesus' mighty name. I will not jam anyone, and no one is permitted to jam me in the mighty name of Jesus. My children, my loved one, will not run to accident, and no one is allowed to run into them in form of an accident in the mighty name of Jesus. We are preserved and kept in the mighty name of Jesus. We are preserved and kept in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. It says, Don't be afraid by the arrow that fly by day, not the terror by night. It doesn't matter the time of the night, we are preserved 
and her household as well in Jesus' mighty name. And verse, um, verse 6 says, Not for the president that walk in darkness, not for the treasure that wasted at noonday. No life be wasted this year in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As small as the number of days that remain, I say no one is allowed to be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And nobody part will be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. One of our children will be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near Amen. thee. That's the confidence. It simply means we may hear the news, we may watch news and see so many things happening, but the confidence is that it shall not come Amen. near thee. Only with your eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Only with your eyes shall thou see and behold and see the reward of the wicked. Only with my eyes will I see and behold and see the reward of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have declared. The Bible said that God is the reward of them that they are seeking. If the wicked will receive their own reward. Then the righteous should receive their own reward in the mighty name of Jesus. All the reward of service this year I will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. It, I will not escape. Then go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. All the reward of service this year, all the hour prayer, all the high praying prayers, the covenant hour we have observed, all the meetings, all the prayers, all the all the amen I said this year, I will not miss my reward in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is written, God is the reward of them that diligently seek Him. I will, not, I will not miss my reward in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not miss my reward in Jesus' mighty name. I will not miss my reward in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus, I pray. I think yesterday I was to send a, 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 an image, the bank and uh, transfer we made to someone that we make it to. And I immediately to sent it to my wife. And I said, no, sorry, it's not for you. I know even my wife, you know, another person too. Sent us and say, I there a mistake you sent so and so thing to me. Say so sorry, it's not for you, so so and so person. As much as we are expecting the reward of our prayers, some people will be mistakenly rewarded with the reward of wickedness. Because I would say that peace on now, so it is in heaven. Sometimes physical things teach us spiritual lessons. Some people will be rewarded with the reward of wicked, wickedness, even though they are not meant for them. That's why you pray for yourself that this year, the remaining small that remain. I will not be particular of the reward of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse, I will not be particular of the reward of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. Not by error, not by mistake. No, not in Jesus' mighty name. I will not be part, I will not be particular my spouse, my family members, my children, my loved one, every member of my household. No one shall be, shall, shall be particular of the reward of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. No one shall be particular the word of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not come near me. It will not come near my dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not come near me. It will not come near my dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. It has no right to come near me, nor my family in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be particular of the word of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to be particular the word of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. All the word of the wicked shall come upon themselves, not upon me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will not be particular of what we get in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And the Bible gives the reason in verse 9. Why we should not be particular of the world of the wicked. Ordinarily, nobody can escape it, whether they are righteous or not. But in verse 9, say, because we have made the law, which is my refuge, even the host most high, your habitation that is the why because we are hiding you will be hidden yourself in the blood of jesus christ you cover yourself by his blood and in his name you preserve yourself the bible said the name of the lord is a strong to her the righteous the righteous run into it and they are saved because we have run into his name we have seek refuge we have continually seek our place of habitations our place of refuge in his name that is why we are safe. And I say in that place, it is my sheet and my buckler. A buckler is a strong place where, cannot, where the enemy cannot penetrate. A sheet is the protector that sheet the evil away. I'm just saying the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is my sheet and my buckler and my habitations. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. That is why I have no part in the reward of the wicked. That's the why I have no part in the reward of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is my strong tower. The name of the Lord is my, is my refuge. The name of the Lord is my, is, is my buckler, is my shade in the mighty name of Jesus. I cannot be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. I will not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. I cannot be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is my strong tower in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Verse 10 says, There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. No evil shall befall you, no evil shall befall me, nor any plague, new sickness or old sickness, new or old diseases, neither of any of them shall come near my dwelling. It simply me, even though they may not touch me, but they also do not have a place in my house because the children too cannot touch them. Can't touch my everyone under my roof. Not only my physical roof, my prayer roof, all over the world. No evil is allowed to befall you in the mighty name of Jesus. And no plague is allowed to come near your dwelling in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and pray that prayer for the rest of this year. No evil is allowed to come upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil is allowed to come upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will not be victim of any plague in Jesus' mighty name. I know evil is allowed, is permitted to come near me in the mighty name of Jesus. No accident, home accident, physical accident, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And quickly, did that remind me of something? Two things, my one. By next week, we are first grace. This, this time next week, we'll be focusing on Amen the Omega. Remember, at the beginning of this year, we, we opened with Amen the Alpha. If you remember this year, that was, a, that was one of the first prayers we prayed this year. Because He is the Alpha and He is the Omega. So we pray that it being the Alpha, it should go ahead. And exactly it did. The last prayer meeting for this week, I mean the last covenant hour, we are going to have under three days after that. But the last covenant hour of this year, which is next week, we are by God's grace, we are going to be praying Amen the Omega. That this will be the last thing and the last person and the last man standing for us this year in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to end the year with him by God's grace this time next year, next week. But secondly, I've had one or two calls from one of our parents. And by one of our grandma, grandpa was saying the other day I fell. And the leg has to be, we have, we, have, we, have to, we have to spend one or two money on physiotherapy and on that to make the leg to be well. And just about last week, one of our mother too said, I fell through the stair. I want to pray for our grandmas as we are grandpa as we end the year, that they will end the year strong in the mighty name of Jesus. No home accident for any one of them again in the mighty name of Jesus. We put a permanent end to every form of home accident in the mighty name of Jesus. Their legs are healed, their bodies are healed, they receive strength in their body in the mighty name of Jesus. All our grandpas and grandmas, they receive strength in their in their leg in the mighty name of their bones will be strong in the mighty name of Jesus. God will renew the strength of their bone. I commit and I commit renewal of bones, renewal of strength. In their bones now in the mighty name of Jesus. You know our strength in their bones. Yes, you be strong and end this year strong in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to pray for ourselves too, the younger one. Does the year go to the end? We end this year strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Strong in our bones, strong in our bodies, in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray a prayer now. The Father, we yes, go to the end. All of us, young, younger ones. Either as married men and women, or as single, single, single adults, or as children, in your hand, Lord, we all be strong as we end this year in the mighty name of Jesus. You all be strong as we end this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now, verse 11, that's where we are actually going to. That's the scripture God gave me for this morning. Psalm 11, Psalm 91, verse 11. I only read the other one so that I understand where we are actually going. Verse 11, which is the main scripture for this morning. It says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all your ways. He will command his angels, he will tell his angels, he will declare to his angels, not only one angel, to his angels. No wonder he said, Goodness and mercy shall 
follow me. He will command his angels to keep charge, to make sure you are preserved, to keep charge over you and to keep you in all your ways. You say, Father, fulfill your promise in the mighty name of Jesus. For the rest of this year, fulfill your promise in Jesus' mighty name. For me, for my love, for my family, for my household, for my children, for every member of my household, for my parents, if you have parents, for every member of praying, praying, prayer group, everyone that are mine by blood or by Jesus' blood, by faith, everyone you are kept under my prayer roof in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your angel keep charge over them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your angels, by your own declarations, by your own command, keep charge over them in the mighty name of Jesus and keep every of their ways in Jesus' mighty name. My self inclusive law, by your command in Psalm 91, verse 11, I declare angels to keep charge over me and over that are mine, all my that are mine in the mighty name of Jesus, and to keep me in all my ways in the mighty name of Jesus in the day or in the night, to keep me in all my ways in the mighty name of Jesus in the day or in the night to keep me in all my ways in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Jesus says sufficient to a day at the evil thereof. That's what Jesus said. And therefore, there are enough evil in every day. The only way we can escape them is if the Lord keep us in all our ways. If the Lord keep us in all our ways by committing his angel to keep charge over us. Say again, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare Psalm 91 verse 11 to be active in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I commit to be activated and active in my life, in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you keep charge over me by the hands of your angel and keep me in all my ways in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep my family, keep my home, keep my household, keep us in all our ways in Jesus' mighty name. Keep us in all our ways in the mighty name of Jesus. In the day, in the night, keep us, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Keep us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every member of my household, every member of my nuclear and extended family, every member of this family of faith, praying, praying, prayer group, and everyone that belongs to them, keep us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep us from evil in Jesus' mighty name. Preserve us and keep us by the hand of your angels. Keep us safe in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Jesus said, greater than Abraham is here. Another place is greater than Solomon is here. Another place he said, if Moses was faithful in his house, greater than Moses is here. Because himself made all things. And the Lord declared by his word, in his own very mouth, he said, lo, I am with you always. No wonder Moses said, when God said, don't worry, go. My angel will go with you. This Psalm 91 was believed to be written by Moses, not by David. And it was Moses himself said, if you will not go with us, we agree your angel will go with us, which is very good. We appreciate it. And 91 documented that Lord told Moses, which was the writer of this Psalm 91, that my angel will go with you. Moses appreciated that fact. But he said, even yourself, must go with us. Otherwise, we are not going. Assurance of angel is not enough. But even your own presence, your own very self, your abiding presence must go with us. And Jesus Christ declared by his own words, in his own mouth, he said, Lo, I am with you always. We say in the mighty name of Jesus, as the Lord has said, that is with me always. So it will be to the very end of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. So it will be to the very end of this year. I declare to my soul, can David be able to me? That it is written, Lo, I am with you always. The Lord is with you to the very end of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be ashamed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. In Second Timothy 1 verse 12, Second Timothy 1 verse 12, it is written, For which for the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed. 
And I am convinced and persuaded that he's able to keep me and keep that which I committed to his hand to the very day. It simply means if I commit my body, my soul, my spirit to his safekeeping, is able to keep it to the very last day. Because it is written, I have, I am persuaded, I am, I believe that is able to do that. You say, I'm not ashamed to say it. I am not ashamed because I know, I am convinced, I believe, I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I committed to his son, not just by his hand of his angel, but himself. He said, Lo, I am with you always. You say, I am persuaded, and I believe that the Lord is able to keep me and all I commit to his hand to the very end of this year in the mighty name of Jesus is able to keep me and keep my household and keep my family to the very end of this year and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus is able to is able to do that as I commit my family to his hand. I commit my soul, my spirit, my life, my body to his hand. I commit my children to his hand. I commit every member of my household to his hand. He will keep us to the very end, the mighty name of Jesus, and even beyond in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And in Jude 124, Jude 124, the Lord declaring by the mouth of his prophet, Jude, he said, Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Three things here. God is able to keep us from falling, falling off it or falling off his hand. I have not fall off his hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I have not fall off the faith in Jesus' mighty name. I will not fall off his hand. And I will not fall out of faith in Jesus' mighty name. You will say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I know you are able to keep me and my household and my family to the very end in the mighty name of Jesus. And even beyond in Jesus' mighty name. I will not fall from faith. I will not fall from, from faith. I will not fall from, from your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. You are able to keep me from falling in Jesus' mighty name. And my household in the mighty name of Jesus. I am convinced and I believe you will keep us to the very end in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And he's able to present us faultless before his glory. Another word is able to keep my soul and preserve me faultless, not uh, encumbered with sin and say that love will keep me from falling and keep me faultless before him in the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime you see me, we see brother Jesus Christ. Anytime you see me, look at me, if you see his son Jesus Christ, if you see him crucified on Calvary, and with the eyes of the sun, he will see me in the mighty name of Jesus. So much that I be faultless before him and before his glory in Jesus' mighty name. God, you keep me and preserve me faultless before your very glory in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If the Lord look at me and insist sin, if you look at me and insist sin, matter the prayer I pray, it is useless. But if you look at me and I see his son, the blood is shed on Calvary. The Bible says the righteousness of Jesus Christ is in my righteousness. I'm righteous because he's righteous. So which simply means God is not seeing me myself per se. He's seeing the son crucified and shed his blood. Whenever he see me, he can see brother Jesus Christ. And that way I become faultless before him. Lord, wash me clean, body, soul, and spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime you look at me, see your son and see the blood of his head on covering. I cover myself with the righteousness of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. I enter into the righteousness of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And lastly, for this morning, he said he's able to present us for the before his glory with exceeding joy. It is in mind of God we end this year with joy, spend the remaining part of the year with joy, and begin a new year with joy as well. As long the Lord tarry, unless we come by rapture, then we are all going home by his grace. And the same thing, joy that we connect to, her, to him. Nobody be connected to God in rapture except that joy in his heart. The Bible says righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. It is that joy that is the connecting, that's the connector. 
nobody will partake in the in, 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 in rapture unless the joy of the law is in his heart. No one. That's the connector. That is a sign that the Holy Spirit is in you. The joy of the law must be there. It doesn't mean everything will be fine. It doesn't mean all your, your bank account is, is covered with millions. It doesn't mean your store is covered with all kind of food. I don't even know what you want to eat. It doesn't mean you have all that you are praying for yet. But that the fact that the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Mm -hmm. That is the only thing that is connected to him in action. Anyone that has not that is not going with him. I pray the joy of the Lord will be your strength in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And also, because it's in us, it's in me, it's in you, then I will end this year with joy Amen. and begin a new one with joy. I receive joy of the Lord in the mighty Father, name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord is my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Doesn't matter what I see, what I hear, what I feel, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I will not lose my joy in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to lose my joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing I see, nothing I hear, nothing I feel will make me lose my joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I will be presented faultless with joy in my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. I will rejoice in him. His joy is in my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. I am preserved and kept in the mighty name of Jesus with exceeding joy in my heart in Jesus' mighty name. With a great joy in my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And please, as part of the last prayer, pray for yourself now that Lord, I receive joy of the Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Say to yourself, I receive joy of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. At this year end, I receive joy of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. At this year end, I receive joy of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. At this year end, I receive joy of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive joy of the Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. As the year grown to the end, I will end in joy. I will rejoice with my children. I will rejoice with my spouse. I will rejoice at home. Inside of my heart, I will have joy. The joy of the Lord is my head. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my happiness. The joy of the Lord is my, is my food. The joy of the Lord is keep me going in the mighty name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord is my safety in the mighty name of God. I receive joy and joy alone in Jesus' mighty name. I receive joy and joy alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I pray for you, the Lord will keep your heart in joy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will keep your feet from falling in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You will not fall to the trap of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. He will keep you safe for the rest of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And anytime the Lord look at you, he will see the blood of Jesus Christ all over you. Amen. He will present you to himself, pure and right before him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And with exceeding joy in your heart in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. He will keep your going out and your coming. And everyone you are praying for this morning, your children, your loved one, your spouse, even the unmarry, your future spouse, and everyone you are praying for under your roof, prayer roof, your parents, your siblings, your family members, everyone you are praying for this morning, I cover them all with the Jesus Christ Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We all end this year strong Amen. and rejoicing in our God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I say for you and for your household, I activate, I empower, and I say it will come to effect, effectiveness and effectual and be effectual. Psalm 91 verse 11, your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will keep his angels charge over thee Amen. and preserve you in all your ways in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And beyond that which angel can do, beyond that which angel has the ability to do, the good Lord himself, according to his word, will cause himself, his presence, to abide with you, Amen. to preserve you, Amen. to keep you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For it's written, lo, I am with you always. He yes. will be with you every day, every second, every minute, every hour of this the many day of this year in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And by the time the new year will come, we shall all have cause to glorify his holy name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Blessed Spirit. be your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Once again, I pray for you as men that have stretched forth their hands, either in prayer or in kind by supporting the financial need of other families through the thing we have done this month 
go to his support you. Amen. In your days of need, you will see God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As those people voices echo in joy, as they call and say thank you, some even almost weeping because they couldn't expect it that something like that had come their way. Mm. As they rejoice and shed tears before God, mm. every amen they say, mm. every God bless you they say, mm. every prayer they say, you will not only see it in your life, you will see in the life of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your children will never lack for help Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says God has raised for so bands of men whose heart he has touched. Mm. Because God touched your heart and you touch others. God will touch the heart of others to support you, support your children, Amen. and raise help for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All your life, you will never be stranded in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I say all your life, you will never be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every home and every life, this money has gone. As Lord bless them, God will remember your sacrifice. Either you have sent your money or you have sent your prayer. Whichever way you have had, God will remember you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. And as we pray next month and um, next week, Wednesday, and see the Lord, the Omega Himself, to be the very end of this year for us. The Lord will abide in our prayers. Amen. He will show Himself mighty. Amen. He will go ahead of us already. To end the year with us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The very last second of this year, the only person that will be standing with Jesus Christ Amen. on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So that it be in the name of God the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of God. Strong as the why is that Solomon joined here with Jesus? I'm so glad with this family. Family of God. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. Keep you strong in heads. Amen. Keep you strong in your body. Amen. Keep you strong in your emotion. Amen. Keep you strong in your soul. Amen. Keep you strong in your spirit. Amen. May Lord bless you and keep you strong in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And may Lord bless your children Amen. and keep them strong in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Everybody you have prayed for this morning, either by name or by thought, may God keep all of them strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May he show his face upon you Amen. and be gracious towards you. Amen. And may Lord put his countenance upon you. Amen. Show the entire light of heaven focus on you. And give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will end this year rejoicing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The exceeding joy of his presence is yours and your household in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Everyone that is sick, I pray for you. I pray that my young your boy, I stretch forth my hand upon you, putting my hand upon your head right now. I declare permanent head Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For you, for your brothers, I say head, complete head in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For you and for your household, I say head. Complete head in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I thought the head, the leg of that my grandpa and that my grandma. I say head healing now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I bring one that I seek one form or the other. Be about the thickness that I put my hand upon them now. And I declare the healing virtue to flow into them. And I declare healing, permanent healing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Amen. I declare the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Amen. You will never lose joy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You will end this year strong. Amen. And in his righteousness Amen. and in his joy. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Because the year of Amen, what do we say? Amen, Amen. is my power. Amen, Amen. is my Amen. strong, my song. With a man, I get victory in prayer. Amen, Amen. is my sword. Oh, whenever Amen. I say Amen. Hallelujah in the name of all name. Demons tremble and God is glorified. Amen is my stay. The same God, the Amen himself, that stand faithful throughout this year on our behalf and honor all our Amen. That same God will still be faithful to you in the coming year. Amen. In the year of Holy Spirit, Amen. and we reign faithful in your life and your family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And as I has promised, we reign faithful in our homes, Amen. and most importantly, in our land in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Blessed be His name forever. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Hallelujah. mighty name, we are praying. God bless you, Mrs. Sober. Thanks for coming.
whenever I stay. Amen. In the name of both our names, demon tremble and God is glorified. Amen. His majesty. As many of you have been traveling in one form or the other in this uh, Christmas period, God will go with you. Amen. His presence will go with you. Amen. You will travel safely. Amen. You will come back home safely. Amen. Your place in your house will not be empty in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Your place in your family will not be empty in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Safe journey for all of you. Amen. If you travel, Amen. you will go and come safely in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worshiped. Amen. Amen.